I want to know that I've searched every possibility possible on this planet for me to feel happy. My agent always jokes, he says, I don't know any other stylist that gets so happy when a job gets pushed. I always want the most amount of time because I have to go through my personal process, what it is I want to do to execute a job. And if I'm not allowed the time, I can't go through my process, which then I don't know if I gave you my 100%. No, it's torturous. Yeah, it's self-torture. Hi, I'm Biakalan, and this is my flip side. But We're doing a little art shoot that we always do um, together with A. Katerina, my favorite photographer. So I asked Nikki, who does my makeup all the time, um, if he could do some sort of robot makeup. And so then we collaborated and like looked at references and ideas and came up with this. Me and A. Katerina's favorite thing is to shoot in public places in ridiculous outfits. We had this whole series when I dressed up like a vampire and we went to like 7-Eleven, where else did we go? Laundry mat, I went to my dentist, car um, wash. Car wash. We, yeah, I like to dress obscure in places where it really doesn't fit in. We also don't have any budget, so we just, you know. We, we call it guerrilla shooting. You just shoot. Mm -hmm. I do. It's like a hate-love relationship. I hate what I do and I love what I do. I love the creative process, but I hate the I hate the, um, all the drama that comes with it. Like I wish I could just like prep a job, do a job, show up, and then everything just went back to its home drama free. Like that would be amazing. But I do, I do, I, I, get, an, I get energy. I get sort of like enlightened. It's sort of like a, a fix, you know? I think it was something brought on at a really young age. My mom was sort of into fashion and she would dress me all the time, like in her clothes and she would sort of like dress me up and I don't know if I liked it, but I was always a little bit odd. Like, and I would have these obsession about certain pieces of clothing. Like I remember for Christmas, I'd be like, there's just like that one hat that I wanted more than anything on the planet. I found the passion for dressing up and the passion for clothing and fashion as a teenager, you know? And I didn't know it was a job back then. It wasn't as well known as it is now. And I just made it my life goal and my life career to pursue something that I love very much. Oh, wow. 
Fuck, that's cool. Well, I've always been a believer in that if you love something, you're gonna be good at it because you really enjoy it. I mean, there's a lot of people who go to work every day, they hate their job and they just never really succeed. But if you love what you do, the drive comes from the love and the inspiration and wanting to know more. It's the details, it's how you put it together. It's how you create the shapes, it's how you accessorize. It's, it's like that final touch that makes it perfect.